Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. And in today's video, we are building this simple like micro interaction using just Figma prototyping. So let's get started. So guys, the interaction that we're building today is inspired from the like interaction or the clap interaction from Medium. Uh, if you have not seen it, let me just quickly show you around. So this is Medium uh, and they have implemented this clap interaction where when you hit on the clap icon, it slightly expands, uh, it scales up actually and then the confetti like things, the like triangles and the circles come out of it. Uh, and then you also see this number that shows you how many times that you have pressed that icon comes uh, from the icon and goes and then disappears, goes up and disappears and then the icon shrunk back to its original shape. So it's a very nice and elegant interaction that they have built. So we are going to uh, attempt something like this today. So guys, we are in Figma right now. Uh, what I have done is I have just quickly set up a page preview, like medium, like a view here. Um, so this is just some heading, some profile images, and then some images and some text. Um, so what I've done is I've just clubbed them together because we are not going to animate it. Uh, the thing that we're going to animate is basically this uh, floating action button, fab, which has this heart icon. So we are going to animate this heart icon to a similar transition that we saw on the medium website. Okay, um, so what we'll do is we'll just quickly set this aside and I'll just put this up here so that there's no distraction and once we have completed our interaction, we'll put this back in the uh, app screen and see how it will look. But uh, to remove any distraction, we'll be building it from here. Okay, so uh, guys, as we discussed uh, in the main uh, medium transition that you've seen, there were three uh, elements in the maximum state. So one was the icon itself. The second was the confetti, the triangle and circles basically and the third was that count that comes up and goes away. Okay, so what are we going to do here right now is we are going to do first build the confetti well, confetti bit. Uh, the reason being we first want to build all the elements and then we'll animate them here and there together. Okay, so let's just quickly build the confetti bit. So to build that what I'll do is I'll just um, create a small circle. I don't want to give it, this will become our reference circle. I don't want to give it any... Um, fill basically and this is basically to create a reference so that we place our triangles and all in equal equal distance I just don't know eyeball it will just help us building that so let me just quickly put up the triangles and circles uh, just grab your polygonal tool and um, draw one that feels like feels good uh, just add a color to it so I'm just using this random red color you can pick any color you want um, give it a slight rotation uh, maybe something like this yes and we're going to add a bunch of it around the entire uh, uh, like icon so let me just quickly do that So guys, we have set up the triangles around the like icon. Let me just also quickly set up the circles. So this looks good enough. Our confetti is ready around it. And I'll now delete the reference circle that we have built. Now it looks equidistant from the entire thing. And yeah. So what I'll do is now, if you see, I have these polygons, everything is ready. I just want to club them together and give them a name. I'll call it confetti. The reason I'm doing it so that um, uh, it's very important that you name your layers correctly so that auto animate can work perfectly around it. So make sure that you name everything correctly and uniquely. Okay, great. The second thing that we want to add is basically the counter, uh, but we are not going to build the counter because um, it's irrelevant and for us because I want to make it like slightly simpler. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, use the same heart icon that we have, rename it and we'll use a heart icon instead of that counter moving up, the number counter moving up. So we'll just do that. So what I'll do is I'll just duplicate this bit. Okay. Uh, give it maybe a red color. I'll call it heart fly. Okay. So I'll just, I'm just renaming it to Heartfly so that there's no uh, similar sort of layers here. 
uh, because then auto animate will be confused. So just rename it differently. I'm also going to change its uh, size. So I'm just going to keep it to something like 16, which seems better. Um, yeah. Okay. And in the final state, we want it to be like a little bit up, something like this, maybe. Yeah, so uh, I think we are ready with the three things that we need for this interaction. We, are, we have the uh, main heart icon, we have the confetti around it, and we also have the uh, heart fly icon that will fly out from this thing. We are not going to animate the fab icon BG, which is the background of the fab icon. They are not going to animate, so we will just leave it like that. Cool. So guys, now all of our elements are ready. Now we need to build uh, the animation frames. So what I will do is, since this is where all the all the elements are flying out, so this will become our second frame. Now we need to build the first frame where nothing is visible except the heart icon. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly duplicate this artboard, and that artboard will become our first uh, artboard, first frame actually of this animation. Now in the first frame we don't want anything to be visible apart from this like icon. So what I'll do is I'll select my confetti group which is here. I'll go in the design mode and I'll just scale it down because we want it to be expanding. Right? Uh, one minute. I'll just scale it down like really small and I'll just move it to the center again. Now uh, if you see it's small but still visible we don't want that. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly move it down. Uh, if you want to move anything down, you can also hit command and the uh, left bracket key. So it will move anything uh, backward or front. So you can use those keys. So now it's in the back and it's not visible. So our confetti thing is hiding. Now we also want that this smaller heart icon that you can see here should fly out of this uh, bigger heart. So what I'll do here is I'll just select this heart and I'll move it down. Right. Somewhere here. Correct. So now it's in the center and here it's a uh, little bit up. So when you wire, wire up these prototypes with Smart Animate, Smart Animate will make a uh, animation between the differences and it will look like that it moves up. Uh, we also don't want this heart icon to be visible in the first frame. So what I'll do is I'll quickly give it a pass through of 0%. Okay. Uh, now let's just quickly fire up these prototypes. Let me just go into the prototyping mode. Now what we want is when we select this one, when we tap, we should be able to go to the second screen. And here, what we want is on tap, definitely. I should navigate to the second artboard, which will be our second frame. Uh, smart animate should be on, ease out, and then 360 milliseconds. So 360 milliseconds gives us enough time to see this expansion animation happening, right? So I think this uh, looks perfect. Let me just really quickly fire up this prototype and see how it looks. I'll just close the older one. And let me just uh, run the prototype. One minute. Yes, yeah, so now we are here. Let me just click. So if you see it, uh, the smaller heart icon just moves up as well as the uh, confetti moves out. Now it's not hiding, it's not perfect because we have not done anything in the second frame. So we need to build other things as well. So let's build the other frame. But this is working perfectly fine as of now. The smaller icon moves up and the confetti moves out. Now, uh, what we also want is once this confetti moves out, it should basically uh, get, it should not be visible in the second frame once it moves out. So what I'll do is I'll go to design mode and I'll select my uh, confetti and I'll give it a zero pass through. Okay. So what will happen is it will expand, but as soon as it expands the second frame, it will also disappear. Let me just really quickly now again hit my prototyping. Let's see how it works. Yeah, so perfect. So now if you see, it looks really nice. Um, when you click, it moves out and then the heart icon also moves us. Uh, guys, don't worry about the frame drop. You might be seeing it really slowly in the recording. That's happening because of Figma. Uh, I'm also running it on my device here. And this animation looks really uh, smooth on this device. So don't worry about the uh, lag. Uh, it could be so several other reasons, maybe due to internet connection and all. So don't worry about it, but it looks perfectly fine. So always keep checking on your phone. Uh, so yeah, now this works perfectly fine. Now uh, what you also want to do is that this heart icon should stay for a while, smaller heart icon and then it should also disappear, move up and disappear. So to build that what I'll do is I'll select the second frame and duplicate and make the third frame out of it. Okay. Uh, 
now what we want from here is uh, we also want two things to happen this heart icon should stay for a while so we'll give some delay between these and this frame so that the heart icon stays there uh, what we also want to do is we also want to uh, select this icon so this icon is at 32 we also want to reduce it uh, in the first frame in the second frame so that it looks expanded and then second frame again in third frame again we want to scale it down so it will give us the scale up and scale down effect for this central icon so what I'll do is I'll go in the first frame and I'll select our heart icon and I'll give it a size of 24 okay and then I'll just quickly align it in the center of the background circular background so now it's uh, in the center at 24 in the second artboard it's 32 so it means that it has scaled up and in the third artboard we again want it smaller so what I'll do is I'll again make it smaller 24 and then align it in the center as well of this uh, artboard okay perfect so I think this scaling works now we also want um, this icon to stay here for a while so what I'll do is I'll just quickly wire up this prototype so that second and third one is there we want the scaling of the central icon to happen uh, and then scaling down to happen immediately so what I'll do is I'll very quickly select this artboard and wire it up here we want it to happen automatically so we will give after delay navigate to second screen perfect um, we want to give it instant because we want it to become like instantly smaller okay and then we give like a really we don't want to give any delay right now because um, we want it to be instantly smaller so we'll just give something like 10 milliseconds okay yeah so uh, let's quickly see how it looks like yeah so if you see uh, our central icon is expanding and then collapsing again and the confetti is also disappearing but if you see the heart icon is still there now uh, scaling we have fixed now let's fix the smaller heart icon that it should stay and disappear in a while so from this screen i'll just quickly duplicate uh, screen other yeah so imagine guys from here till here uh, in the second to third artboard we're going instantly so that there's no change virtually any change between this smaller heart icon now we want the heart icon to stay for a bit so what i'll do is i'll just select the second artboard and the third art i'll just go to the prototyping mode and wire up the third artboard to the fourth artboard uh, i'll give it a delay after delay and we want this icon to stay here for a while the rest of the animation has already happened till in third frame itself we want this icons to stay for a while so that what i'll do is i'll just give it some delay like 600 and uh, i think this is there we also want to give smart animate okay yeah so we'll give smart animate here and what we want to do is we want this to be around 300 and what we want is we want this uh, heart icon to move up a little bit like this and it should also disappear so i'll give it a zero pass through yeah so guys i'll just quickly revamp what has happened here uh, from first to second the icon has scaled up and from second to third uh, instantly the icon has scaled down the heart icon is still there at the same location smart animate won't do anything so it looks static uh, from here to here the smart icon is the, the small icon the small heart icon is disappearing it moving up and disappearing so uh, we wanted to give a slight delay so that from here to here it looks it's the animation starts after a delay like after 600 millisecond that we have given if i show you again the 600 millisecond so it will stay here for 600 millisecond and then it will move up and disappear okay so uh, i'll just quickly show you again so 600 millisecond will stay and after that it will smart animate 300 millisecond and move up and disappear so let's just quickly view how it looks like so i just click and it goes up perfect um, so i'll just quickly show you one more time how it will look like i'll go to the first frame i'll click expands small icon moves up and then again moves up and disappear okay so i think this works perfectly for us now what we want is we want this animation to be cyclic so what i'll do is i'll just quickly patch up the last artboard to the first artboard again and here i want to give it like not on tap after delay i'll give it something like one millisecond we want immediately to come to the first screen so that it's again available for a press and what i'll also do is i don't want to do anything smart animate i just want it to happen instantly okay 
Now I'll just fire the prototype again. Cool. So I'll select, expands, heart icon disappears. So if you see, uh, the icon again comes to the original state. So it's like you can now simulate infinite pressing of the icon, just like the icon you saw, that uh, the animation that you saw from medium. So guys, I think this is it. Uh, I think we missed one small thing. We also want when the icon expands, the central icon, that should also become red. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just quickly go in my second artboard. Um, I'll just select the heart icon here, which is here, and then just give it a red selection. So that when the icon is expanded, it becomes red and again goes back to the same state, like the black one, okay? Now let's just quickly check it one more time. It works perfectly. Uh, don't worry about the frame drops. I think this is happening because I'm also recording the screen. So something with the graphic thing. That's why the animation looks slightly jittery here, but it looks perfectly on my device. I'll show you the device preview in a bit. But I think we are done with it. Now guys, what I'll do is, I'll just quickly uh, select all the uh, elements of the interaction, group them together. And what I'll do is, I'll just give it a name, something like, uh, uh, like animation, okay? Uh, I'll do the same thing for all the other uh, elements in the screen, like same and then give the same name like, like animation. I'll then put up my in initial content screen that I have built like this. I'll just copy it and I'll just paste in this artboard and uh, I'll just move it back so that the heart icon animation is here. What I'll also do is uh, I'll now put this heart icon to the place where I want it. Okay. And just do the same thing on all the screens. Okay. So after doing this, it looks like this, where you have, you have, you need to put the thing to the exact same location. Uh, just add the content on the background. And now your entire uh, artboards looks much, much more filled. Now it looks like a proper prototype. Now let's quickly review with this one as well, like how exactly the prototypes looks like. So I'll just, uh, this, I'll just hit prototyping. And with the content, let's see how it looks like. So now we have the content here. See, so it looks perfect. So guys, I think uh, this is it for today's video. Uh, if you like it, do like, subscribe, share, and I'll be bringing more and more tutorials uh, going forward with Figma and Adobe XD. One small thing to note here is that we could have done this very simply in Adobe XD because they have component states. Uh, that's unfortunately not there for Figma right now. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, we have done uh, I think I'm saying we have done 90% or 95% close to the animation that medium has done. So yeah, and that's how you prepare your like animation, medium like like animation in Figma, just using Figma. So guys, that's it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.